All right, my friends, we are looking at some shower and thunderstorm activity as we head into the latter part of the week. Some of these thunderstorms are going to be heavy right here. You can see them at Capitol Reef National Park, Escalante. And as we move down towards the Aquarius Plateau, scattered heavy thunderstorms extending over to the north side of the Boulder Mountains. Now this is Capitol Reef, very vulnerable to flash flooding as well as Torrey. You're getting that very heavy rain in Torrey and just south of Loa over towards Hogan Pass and then east of Fish Lake. This area here, like I said, prone to flash flooding, especially over in this zone. You're getting into the Badlands and Goblin Valley State Park. Some other showers and thunderstorms have come off the Wasatch plateau and are now moving into Farron. Uh, looks like uh, right there is a pretty good sized storm long SR 29. This area too on this east side is vulnerable to flash flooding. We also have a storm just to the west of looks like uh, helper and uh, moving towards the east. These storms along the Tavaputs have been light to moderate. Now new storms are forming in the vicinity of uh, looks like Fruitland and over by Starvation Reservoir and north along the uh, Uintas. This one here, just a light thunderstorm in Dry Fork Canyon, the Quiant Lake Basin, and up towards, uh, looks like Chapita Lake. And temperatures are hot, there's no getting around it. It is a summer day, 93 in Moab, 99 in St. George. And there are the thunderstorms billowing up over the mountains. No wind, so that's, that's, uh, that's a little unusual. We should probably see some southwest winds kicking up a little later. 92 in Salt Lake City with that ridge of high pressure mostly dominating, as you can see, bringing those thunderstorms widespread to the Utah area in eastern Nevada tomorrow. Less so in the Salt Lake City area as we move into Saturday and Sunday, but still afternoon and evening thunderstorms in southern Utah are going to percolate each day going into uh, Monday and Tuesday and especially into the Uintas and east over parts of southern Utah. Very hot weather as we head towards 100 degrees today. We're going to be 88 in Park City, 90 in Evanston, 98 in Logan. I mean, it's hot when you're at 100 degrees or close to it along the Wasatch Front, and then we're at 107 in St. George, 104 Bullfrog and Lake Powell. So that 107 drops a little bit. We have those scattered thunderstorms in the forecast today, especially north and east of St. George, but I wouldn't be surprised to see one or two of them come off of the Kayabab Plateau northward towards St. George today and tomorrow, and a slight chance on Saturday. It does get hotter with a little higher probability the storm's moving out of the south on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as temperatures reach up close to 109. Today in Salt Lake City, scattered late day thunderstorms, some of them with microburst winds and enough rain maybe to wet the ground down. Hopefully we get enough maybe to water the grass, but probably not until tomorrow. That's a little higher chance in both days. It's a little higher from the um, Ochre Mountains, the south end of the Salt Lake Valley, Provo area, Spanish Fork, South Nephi. Those spots would be a little higher chance on Thursday, Friday. While Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday into Wednesday, we're just hot with like, scattered thunderstorms over the mountains and those usual places like the Uintas and the Wasatch Plateau as well as southern Utah.